Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hormone Helper Podcast. I'm Coach Andrew, your hormone helper from Fit for All Fitness. I personally coach over 1,600 men and women to help better understand their hormones so they can lose weight and get their metabolism back on track. With this podcast, you're going to hear from me and my special guests about everything from metabolism to thyroid to weight loss. And we even talk a little bit of sexy time as we chat to spread more knowledge thick like butter on your hormones. If you're ready to learn, I'm ready to share, so let's do this. Hello all, welcome to the Hormone Helper Podcast where we talk about all things health, hormones, and happiness. So in honor of my launch for this podcast, I thought I would do something special for all those moms and entrepreneurs out there who are having a hard time with what? you say well getting confirmation or receiving clarity on whether or not their hormones are actually out of whack so i know it can be really frustrating going from doctor to specialist to other specialist only to be told that what you feel is normal so i get it because i've been through it if you check out my previous podcast episode you'll hear why now i've personally seen over 22 different specialists from endocrinologists to naturopaths and hired professional medical clinics to work with me on my own hormonal path to normalcy after my varicolectomy surgery now in the next five episodes they're going to be dedicated just for you so we can build a little more certainty and understanding around your symptoms your digestion and ibs issues your inconsistent energy throughout the day and make some quick and relatively easy changes you make to get your hormones and of course your metabolism back on track now for a few things to note before we cover all of these mentioned for those of you who have never explored your hormones or the medical system whether it's here in canada or in the united states this journey and process done alone can and will be the most frustrating and completely exhausting process that you're ever going to go through and that's really for two reasons one hormones and metabolisms are incredibly complicated so you want to think of trying to create and repair software when you don't know the code number two most practitioners are the fix it once it's broken variety and not the repair something before it breaks mentality so both of these reasons can be incredibly frustrating one of the common issues that i hear through our clients previous health journey pre fit for all is that they either have a good practitioner with the wrong treatment or doctors who refuse to treat you and just instead treat the symptoms instead of its cause that treatment they do normally comes in the form of non-holistic approaches like heavy medication and it doesn't have great side effects or it doesn't do the right thing that's intended now i want to be crystal clear i'm not going to take a big dump on medication right now because there are plenty of medications that do wonders and are actually needed for people to survive but medication should and always be a last resort because it's not realistic and a maintainable solution moving forward in the long run Doses need to be increased, effectiveness is lost, and the body starts to become reliant on that specific medication in order to function normally. This is what we call medication dependence in the industry. Now, right now, I'm sure your brains are immediately turning to, well, what about supplements? Okay, well, here's my take on supplements too. The word supplement means in addition to, not in replacement of, meaning you have to be doing the 90% other stuff like balancing your nutrition, your training, and your sleep. I can safely say there's too many supplement companies out there that just want you to keep buying a supplement and they don't actually care whether or not it works for you or whether or not you have the right thing. Supplements can hurt your body too. So please always ask a professional about what you're planning on taking. Don't just buy things from the random person there at your GNC. So now we head into what we can expect with this bonus content of the five things which I'll be covering over the course of these next five days in each separate podcast. So I want you to tackle this as a personal challenge to yourself, as by just making a few adjustments, you can really set yourself off to a good start for balancing your hormones. So day one, we're gonna be talking about the importance of sleep, which is going to be more growth hormone. Growth hormone is responsible for your body's recovery system and for increasing your metabolism. Day two is gonna be all stress. 
Are you fighting your own metabolism with activity? There are a lot of stressors that people put on their body that can be damaging to their hormones too, and activity is one of them. So it's really important that you understand what type of activity you're doing and whether or not it's actually going to be stressful to your body or whether you're going to see a benefit. Day three, we're going to be discussing digestion and bloating because that is the early sign of hormone imbalance. Your gut health is the way to your hormones because that is where everything is digested. So if you're not getting the right nutrients, if you're not adjusting the right way, well, then guess what? You're going to be shit out of luck and your hormones are going to be pretty bad. Now, day four is going to help you with energy. So the key to fighting fatigue and chronic sickness, we're going to be talking about anything energy, how you can get some. We're not going to turn you into an energy vampire. This is how to get some energy naturally and, of course, boost up those hormones. And the final day of this challenge is going to be on anxiety, which is the earliest indicator of high stress hormones. Your body reacts to fear, stress, and anger in the same way. It's a hormonal mechanism, and that can give you a big indicator if you're starting to experience anxiety that something is not quite right in your body or something is changing. So those are all going to be the five days and they're going to be posted one after another in each consecutive. So at this point, you're ready to tune into day one. So just click the next episode and of course, feel free to listen in. That's all for this quick episode. And thanks again for tuning into the Hormone Helper podcast. Make sure you subscribe to stay on top of each new episode. And remember, the greatest form of a compliment to me is a review. So drop one for the cast so I can know how I did. Thanks. Well, it seems I'm all out of info juice for today. That's all for this episode. And thank you so much for listening. Please leave a raving review for me if you've learned something good and make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. Now, if you're in the mood for some more great content and tools to get your hormones on track, why not check out our free Facebook group and the blog on our site? We do amazing weekly trainings in our group that me and my wife call Tea and Teachings that give good tips for anything hormones and metabolism related. It's also a great community where you get to share your goals and success with like-minded people just like you. I'll make sure to drop both the Facebook group link and the blog link in the show notes for you. Or if you're ambitious like me, the name of the group is Weight Loss and Balanced Hormones. Uh, It'll say fit for all beside it with a picture of me. So come and join us and have more fun.